Hey everybody, Mr. Macintosh here, and did you know that you could install Mac OS on multiple Apple Silicon Macs using Apple Configurator 2 at the same time, just like you can with iPads and iPhones? It works really quickly if you're trying to restore and reinstall Mac OS on your Apple Silicon Macs at the same time. Let's say you're a recycler, you're a reseller, you're a school or business, and you have to do multiple ones at the same time, you can plug to as many as you you possibly can get like for example in this video I'm going to show you how to do three at the same time so we've got a lot to cover let's jump in and get started now the best thing about Apple configurator 2 is that if you know you can do multiple iPhones and iPads to reinstall iOS on them so again you can plug in like a charging deck and have multiple iPhones all plugged in and do them all at the same time you'll see them all plugged in as long as they're all in DFU mode and they'll go one by one and the best part is is now with Apple Silicon you can do the same thing you plug in as many Apple Silicon devices devices as you have USB connections. You can kick it off and then just walk away and by the time you're done, they're all done. You can pack them up and send them away. So again, this is great for resellers, recyclers, schools, businesses, anybody that has to restore multiple Macs at the same time. So we've got our Apple Silicon MacBook Pro. We've got a Mac Mini over here. We've got a Mac Mini over here. And we're going to do them all at the same time. We already got one Mac Mini booted to DFU mode, ready to go. Now we're going to do our MacBook Pro. So let's do a shutdown here. And once it's off, we'll go through the steps. Now you've probably seen my video and showing you how to get these things into DFU mode, the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. You got to jump through a bunch of different weird hoops to be able to do that. Basically, you got to hold down the power button, the right shift, the left control and option for 17 seconds in a different sequence. And then all of a sudden you're in DFU mode and you will be able to see. On Apple Silicon, you got to make sure that you're plugged in with a USB charge cable, the white charge cable that came with the charger or a USB-C to USB-C cable. So again, the port that you want is the closest to the screen. Once you've got that plugged in, you can plug it anywhere you want on the host Mac. And again, it only matters on the target Mac which port you use. So now it's ready to go. It's off. Okay, here we go. 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000, 13, 1,000, 14, 1,000, 15, 1,000, 16, 1,000, 17, 1,000. Okay, if it doesn't work, we can unplug and plug back in here and see if we can get a good DFU mode. And for some reason, it that's what happens with maybe with this cable, but it did work. We're in DFU mode. Now we can do the third mini. So we'll lift this up, put it up here, and as you can see, it's the port closest to the Ethernet port for the Apple Silicon Mac. We'll unplug the power cable, and we will. What we'll do is we hold on the power button for one second before we put in the power cable, and we continue to hold until we see the third DFU. So here we go. Ready? We'll prepare the power cable. We'll hold on the power button for one second. Ready? Go. One one thousand power. Keep holding and see if we can get it to go here. No. So do we? We got nothing. So. We will try again here, we'll unplug, and we will, and this is why I'm showing you this now. This is what really happens. Sometimes it doesn't work. We'll let it unplug for about five seconds, let the power drain from the power supply. There's a couple seconds that it has power and it's all gone. We go, we'll try again here. We'll get ready with the power button. We'll go one second, then immediately plug in the power cord and we'll hold that one second and then power. I'll see if we can get it here. And we got it, great. We got all three DFU modes. We are ready to reinstall Mac OS on all three Apple Silicon Macs at the same time. So the, again, you can just right click on here and go to uh, restore. The, the revive is in the advanced menu here to revive device. The restore is what we wanna do because that's going to erase the hard drive on all three Macs and then reinstall Mac OS, the latest version that's available for, from Apple. That's the only way this particular way works. You can only install the latest version available and it's gonna download it too. Once it has the copy though, it will store it here and I'll show you where that gets stored in the temp directory and it downloads the full 13 gigabyte installer from Apple servers onto the host Mac and then it transfers that over USB-C or Thunderbolt to each one. So let's try to do that. But again, I don't wanna sit here and wait for the download. You can do that. The good thing is though, is that once it's cached on the system, the latest version, you don't have to worry, it won't download again. It'll keep using that cached version until the new version. So let's say that you click this 
and hit restore right now, it downloads as this taping is being made. It's 11.1. Let's say it's in the future, it's it's 11.5, and you click restore, it's going to download 11.5 to this host Mac, and you can use that 11.5 until the new version comes out. The day that that one comes out, though, it'll download it again, and you'll have that copy to use. My recommendation is is to go to my site here, and I've got the all the firmware. Uh, versions that are as ever Apple's ever released here and as you can see at the time of this taping again we've got 11.01 .01 and 11.1 .1 available so you just click on this and it downloads directly from Apple you can see here cdn.apple.com is the direct link and then once you have that I've got that located I've got multiple versions here so now to start the e restore process on all three you could just drag one to do an individual one so if you just wanted to do this MacBook Pro here all you needed to do is drag it here but if we want to do all of them at the same time we'll hit escape here here, and then select command A or just do a shift and select them all with your cursor and then we'll go back to our folder here and then we'll drag the 11.120 C69 over to any of the ones and then it's going to say do you want to install the firmware version 11.1 .1 on three selected devices click restore to reset to factory settings click revive to preserve the content and restore the macOS recovery so we're going to click restore as you can see they're all three of them are spinning here and it's going to start to install the system and if you open up activity monitor here we will monitor the disk usage here and we're transferring now at about 341 megabytes a second here now so here's what it's doing we can see that it's restoring all three systems at the same time it's not going to just do one at a time it's going to do them all three over all of the data ports and you can keep this activity window up to monitor the process on all three. And again, we can see that activity go. And as we add more devices to the buses, it's gonna slow down that transfer rate. But again, the idea is, is just to set and forget it. So if you wanna connect 10 Max, you just set them all up and then walk away and do something else. And by the time you come back, they're all restored and powered up again. That's the whole point of this. Instead of just kind of bringing, you can do that. If you wanted to just bring one over, boot it to DFU mode, connect it, wait, and then bring the next one over, boot to DFU mode, wait. This is the most efficient way to do multiple Mac recoveries and reinstall of Mac OS at the same time. This process is going to take each one normally takes around 15 minutes. So this is probably going to take around anywhere between 15 and 45 minutes because each one is going to take that 15 minute time block to do. So we're probably going to be around 45 minutes for all three devices to do and add another 15 minutes for each device you add. So that's restoring Mac OS on multiple Apple Silicon Macs at the same time using the host Mac Apple Configurator 2 and an ISPW file. I hope this video was valuable to you. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And if you like this video, click that thumbs up button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, I really appreciate it and look forward to more videos just like this in the future. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.